today we are going to be tasting and ranking all of the cup noodle flavors. I've been hunting for cup noodle flavors forever. Okay, here's a few. Sesame chicken and teriyaki chicken. Yes. What? Honey bunches of oats with chocolate. <gasps> Pretty good. Anyway, we're supposed to be tasting cup of noodles. I got 16 cup of noodle flavors. Let's check out the flavors right now. There's currently seven different chicken flavors, including these new very veggie options. We got these which are specialty in Japan, and these special ones from Hong Kong. Okay, let's get to trying these out. Let's get started. We got chicken with corn and carrot pieces. Oh, look at that. It tastes like salty chicken water with noodles, like a chicken bouillon cube. Having said that, it's not bad. Let's start off with a three, hearty chicken. I wonder what the difference is. There's no vegetables inside this one. The noodles actually look thicker too. It smells like there's like butter or like cream inside. It tastes like the butter that they put on buttered popcorn. It definitely makes it a little bit more filling or hearty. I don't like it that much. I would give hearty chicken a 2.75. Sesame chicken? Well, this one actually has chicken pieces in it along with carrots. It doesn't really taste like anything. I just taste the cardboard noodles. I barely taste anything. It, it really just tastes like noodle water. If you really like bland cardboard, I would go with this. Otherwise, I would give it a one. I'm already beginning to feel the sodium and I've only had three of them. Teriyaki chicken. So this one also has carrots and green onions and also has chicken in it. What does this chicken piece taste like? Dehydrated chicken? Wow, that tastes horrible. It tastes like like a sponge in my mouth, and it just like disintegrates. Wow, that tastes bad. I guess you could say it kind of tastes like teriyaki sauce, but it really doesn't. It just tastes like water, and they put a few drops of teriyaki sauce and mixed it up. Ugh! I would give that one a 0.5. It really was not good. Spicy chili chicken? This looks like a Mexican <laughs> ramen. Red bell peppers inside? Or, or chili pepper? I don't know what this is. It's like they took some paprika or cayenne pepper and kind of just like a few times. I'd give that one a two. The very veggie spicy chicken flavor. In comparison, this one does have a lot more veggies in it. The soup got like totally absorbed by everything. It is spicier than the spicy chili. I don't know if the vegetables really match this though. The broccoli is like pretty overpowering. And let's be honest, this is like not healthy at all. It's not good. I would give it a two and a half. The very veggie chicken flavor. Looks like edamame inside. It doesn't look appealing. Again, there's like no soup. This one has like almost no taste, especially since the vegetables kind of overpower everything. It tastes better than the spicy one, a 2.75, but not as good as the hearty chicken. Now that we got the chicken flavors out of the way, it's time to try beef flavor. This one has very questionable pieces of beef inside. Ugh. I don't think they should put meat inside of these. It's not bad. The beef soup, beef water, is not horrible. It's not as salty as the chicken. This gives the whole flavor like a more complete feeling. It just tastes more satisfying, to be honest. I think this is one of the best flavors so far. I'd give it a 3.25. Very veggie beef. Has the same stuff as the chicken very veggie one. It just has like an overwhelming broccoli smell. That's about all I can say. The vegetables actually, for the first time, match with the cup noodles. But to be honest, I prefer the regular beef over the veggie version. This just doesn't taste like ramen, that's why. I would give this one a three, but right behind the original chicken. With shrimp. <laughs> Two and a half tiny, tiny shriveled up pieces of shrimp in this. I will try one of these pieces of shrimp. It was very shrimpy. Soup base actually isn't that bad. It's like, like has like a black pepper taste. Soy sauce based ramen flavor broth. I would give the shrimp one a three and a half. Seafood? Number one seafood instant noodles in Japan. Loved by Japanese for over 30 years. Well then it's gotta be good. There's like pieces of imitation crab, some yellow stuff, I don't know what that is. And it smells very, very fishy. Wow, that's really fishy. It tastes like seafood that was like, has gone bad. Oh, I'd give that one also 0.5. Next one, we got curry. Number one instant curry noodles in Japan. 
I think they're just like they're just saying that for everything. But this one actually does look like curry. There's like potatoes in it. Tastes like butter popcorn curry. And very, very salty. I was expecting to like that. I didn't really like it. It's too salty. I give that a 0.75. Hong Kong seafood. I wonder if this is any different from this one. Mmm, that one's good. It doesn't taste fishy at all. It has a very slight crab and squid flavor, but like very little. I would give this one a four. Spicy seafood flavor. This one has way more of a fishy squid flavor. I would say it is the spiciest of this cup noodles that we've had so far. I don't really like this one. This one just tastes way more fishy and actually closer to the Japanese seafood one, if you know what I mean. I would give this one a two. Crab flavor. The crab flavor is not fresh. It just tastes old. Yeah, I'm I'm not a fan. 2.5. And black pepper crab flavor. This one has like purple onions inside. I think that's like the only difference. It does smell like black pepper. This one actually tastes like a ramen from a store. There's like a lot of depth of flavor. The crab does not taste old. It has like a little bit of a green onion taste too. Best one. If I had to just eat one cup of noodle for the rest of my life, it would be this one. I'd definitely give that one a five. Here's our ramen ranked from worst to best. Japanese seafood cup of noodle, 0. 0.5. Teriyaki chicken, 0. 0.5. Curry flavor, 0. 0.75. Sesame chicken, one. Spicy seafood flavor, two. Spicy chili chicken, two. Crab, 2.5. Very veggie spicy chicken flavor, 2.5. Very veggie chicken flavor, 2.75. Hearty chicken, 2.75. Very veggie beef flavor, three. Chicken flavor, three. Beef flavor, 3.25. With shrimp, 3.5. Hong Kong seafood flavor, four. And black pepper crab flavor, five. <sighs> so much sodium. Okay, let's start the vlog. Ugh. Could it be? Army green dad hat. This color is like one of my favorite new hats. And guess what? All of the dad hats have also been restocked in all the colors. So if you missed out, make sure to grab them as soon as possible. <gasps> Would you like to go and see your friend Jack? We haven't seen him in a while, huh? Let's go and visit him. You ready? Jack, what's up? He's like Gatsby's best friend. Friends, it's lots of fun to play with friends. It's great to spend a day with friends. We know we can't rely on friends, friends, friends. When we've got a secret to tell, we need someone we know real well. When we've got some news to share, we need someone we know will care. When you're looking for things to do, we need someone who thinks like you. When you've got a game to pretend, what you need is a real good friend. Friends, friends, friends. Did you have a good time, Gatsby? Drop top corks, corgi on my wrist, corgi's up and down my chain. Corgi G straight stuttin' can't tell me nothing bossed up and now we change the game. It's that big Bronx corgi got all them dogs shook. That big corgi butt got all them dogs hooked. Went from dollar bills, now we poppin' rubber bands. Gassy smiled at me when we did the corgi dance like, ayy. Flexin' on the gram like, ayy. Hit that little John, okay, okay. And now we drippin' in finesse and gettin' paid, ow. Uh, Bay Area traffic. I thought we'd check out some aquarium stores since we haven't done that in a while. I'm gonna check out first my friend Jimmy's aquarium store who just opened up Infinite Aquarium. I've been meaning to go and visit since this grand opening, so let's check it out. Check out this aquarium TV. He's still setting up the store, but it looks really nice. Let's check out my other friend's aquarium store now. There's so many aquarium stores in the Bay Area, we might as well check them out too. <laughs> I really need to get more inspired with my aquarium. I just hit like super hard in the last two days, so I thought I would hit some upper body today. See you guys there. Uh...
I wasn't feeling too good today. And then the fact that I had like 16 cup of noodles probably did not help the cause. My throat is like really hurting now. <laughs> and I'm kind of a little bit dizzy, so. Sorry guys, I had some things planned, but I don't know if I'm gonna be doing them. Um, one of them was I was gonna cook some dinner. I'll still do that, but I think I'm gonna change up what I'm gonna make. I think I'm just gonna make what I usually do when I feel bad. So we're driving over to the supermarket right now. Chicken broth, onion, celery, carrots, and some chicken with the bone in. Okay. Let's make it. I'm gonna be making it in my instant pot pressure cooker and it should be pretty simple to do. You just throw everything in the pot and turn it on. <laughs> and I'm gonna eat it with some rice on the side just to make it more filling. I just got chicken thighs. Those are the ones that had the bones. You wanna make sure that you do it with the bones just because it's a lot more healthy and adds a lot more flavor. Garlic powder, onion powder, rosemary. Next, we're just gonna make a basic soup stock called mirepoix using celery, onions, and carrots. And since this is going into soup, it's gonna cook until softened. The pieces can be somewhat large. And I have some baby carrots. You can use regular ones, of course. Would you like a carrot? Let's also add some ginger and garlic. Now I'm just gonna use some chicken broth. You can of course use water, but chicken broth is a lot more flavorful. Add a little bit of water, give it a good mix. Set this to 45 minutes. And that was pretty much it. We don't have to do anything else. Let's wait for it to be done. Chicken soup. That looks good. And we have some rice. Ooh, look at that. Now we have tons of chicken soup for later on. Especially the bones make the chicken soup super, super healthy. Ah, it's so good. I took a quick nap and I'm just like, ah. Uh. Definitely got sick. I think it's better that I just stop vlogging for today. I'm so sorry that the vlog kind of got cut short. I'm just like, I'm starting to shiver and like I'm dizzy. I'm just like really have a really bad headache right now. My body always takes a super big hit when, um, when it's really cold and then all of a sudden becomes really warm, which is kind of what happened in the Bay Area recently. That and I was traveling a lot this past weekend for weddings and stuff, so probably got sick from one of those. I don't know if there's gonna be a vlog too soon just because it takes me a really long time when I get sick to get better, but um, I'm just gonna relax and it'll be kind of like a nice vacation for me, I guess. Don't forget to check out CorgiOnFleek.com for all the new dad hats and I'm gonna head to bed early and hopefully I can knock this thing out. Good night. Good night. Round two. Yeah. You're gonna use your Mewtwo to battle? Yeah. Uh, I wish I had one. Go Tyranitar, kill Mewtwo. Hopefully I catch him this time. Go Sean, go! No! Nope. Oh, I'm sorry Sean. You got it! Yes! Let's hunt some Easter eggs.